and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul. So I have my bag right here. I'm really excited to show you what I got. Um, this sale usually comes twice a year, so I knew the sale was coming, so I didn't buy any makeup products in October. So I picked up a couple of things that I had on my lips, on my list. Um, some things I actually didn't have at all on my list. I just went in store so I could actually swatch everything and see what I wanted. It's always a fun time to kind of get things that you usually wouldn't get. So that's kind of what I did. So I'll show you what I got. I didn't go too crazy because I have enough already, but there was still a few things that I had in on my mind on my list so I'll I'll show you so first thing they actually give us a little sample bag then moving on to the things that I purchased so the first thing actually when I walked in I kind of ran and asked the sales associate where I could find this because we actually my Sephora doesn't carry Becca but I knew they had this palette because I looked online online you can actually type in your postal code and see if the product is available in your store so I did that but you never know um, so um, this is the Becca champagne glow palette so I as you probably know I already have the uh, champagne pop the full size I got it when I was in Toronto in September I did a, a haul video a makeup haul video so if you want to check that out be listed down below but so look at the packaging it's so pretty I I really like this. This is a limited edition palette for the holidays and usually uh, palettes for the holidays are always super bulky, fancy packaging, but it's not really what I like. I really like this type of packaging, you know, super slim, sleek. I just like that type of packaging. Um, so it looks like this. It's so pretty. Actually, the reason why I got this is because this was $44 in Canada and a full size highlighter from Becca is $46. And I obviously I have this one already, but I really like it. It's a limited edition product. So why not have an extra one? And then because I really like it and then I don't have any pearl highlighters. So that's that's good and then I've been wanting to try this one this is blushed copper and I didn't really want to buy the full size because this is more of a blush topper as the name says so I know I'm not gonna need a lot of it so I think this is a pretty great palette also don't look at my nails I removed my acrylics my nails look terrible <laughs> so um yeah I think that is a really great palette I'll swatch the colors for you I love the quality of Becca um, highlighters it's really pretty. So this is the the pearl, uh, lush copper, and champagne pop. So it's just really pretty, and also it's a pretty good value. So this has uh, seven seven point twenty grams, and a full size highlighter you get. I think it's eight or eight point five grams. So I think it's a pretty great value if you compare this to the Hourglass Holiday Palette, which you get solo product for the money that you actually pay. I think this is a pretty good value. You do get a good amount of product for the price that you pay. It's $2 less than a full size. I mean, at least in Canada. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Also, I get to try two highlighters that I I never tried before. So I think that was a pretty good deal. I'm really happy I picked it up. Also, it was the last one there, so I got super lucky. Then I also picked up the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. As I said in my get ready with me simple date night look, I'll link it down below. I, I had a sample of this actually, really like it, so I bought the full size. So I got mine in the shade medium one, St. Moritz. It's the perfect shade for when I'm fake tan. I really like this. Also, um, this is around $50, but you do get 1.9 ounce, which is a lot more than the average foundation. So. I really like this. This is perfect for those days where I don't want a full coverage. I don't want to look too made up, but I really want to look kind of nice and healthy and glowy. This is really nice. It does cover pretty well. I don't have too many things to cover on my face, but I do I do like the finish that this gives. It's really pretty. Um, and also it smells really good. So yeah, really like this product and I'm really happy I have it. I did get a sample before, so I knew my shade. So yeah. If you're wondering right now I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y375 I haven't worn it too many times so I can't give you a full review but I'll definitely wear it a lot more in the next couple of days weeks and I'll definitely be doing a review if that's something you would be interested in and next all I got is lip products from NARS <laughs> so 
as you know, NARS is one of my favorite brands, so um, I just went a little crazy in the lip product uh, section. I wish we had a Becca section at my Sephora because I really want to try some more of their products, but unfortunately we don't. So, um, But if you have any Becca products to recommend, definitely leave them in the uh, comments down below because I really want to try more of their products. Okay, so I'll start with what I have on my lips right now. This is the Audacious Lipstick in Barbara. It's a really pretty color, as I said, it's what I have on right now. Um, I was expecting it to be a little lighter, but I still really like it. I applied the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder over it just to kind of mattify it a little bit. And also, I kind of wanted it to last longer on my lips. So it looks like this. I really like these lipsticks because they are very pigmented. <laughs> you really do get... The color on the bullet is the color you'll get on your lips. So, really like that. Oh, I have a hair. <laughs> of course, they are a little more expensive. Usually, I, I prefer to buy MAC lipsticks because they're $20. Um, I don't buy too many high-end lipsticks just because I love MAC lipsticks in general. Um, but it is a really good lipstick. I love the color and I got 20% off. So I think it was worth it. But the thing is, I couldn't really try it in stores because there was so many people that like, there was no space to kind of sanitize your lipstick and then try it on. It was just too crowded. So I, I just kind of bought it. Swatched it on my hand, but I just kind of bought it. So, but I do like it. Then I also got two. These are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. I got two. I have one already in Sex Machine that I purchased last year at the VIB sale. If you want to see the haul from that from last year, I'll link it down below. Um, but I actually had no intention on buying these. But as you probably know, I've been really liking the brown lips recently, so I was just looking around to see if I could spot a good brown lip color, and I saw this one. I actually saw two, you'll see. So this one is in the shade Bahama, and I really like these lip products because obviously they're matte, and they're very easy to apply, and also they feel so light on your lips. That's what I love the most about them. So this is Bahama, so it looks like that. I love the sound that these make. <laughs> so this one right there. So it's a really pretty color. I actually swatched it right beside Whirl when I got home. And this is more pink than Whirl. Whirl is one of my favorite lipsticks. So um, yeah, this is kind of similar but not exactly the same, which is a good thing. But yeah, love the formula of these. They feel so light on the lips. So this is Bahama. And then I also saw Walkyrie. It's the, the same type again. Um, this one... I mean, it looks super similar. It looks pretty much like the same thing, but it's not. Um, this one is a lot warmer. It almost looks a little orange when you swatch it, but it's not orange. It's really nice. I actually just couldn't choose which one to get. And again, as I said, it was so crowded. I didn't really have time to kind of properly apply them and compare them. So I just purchased both of them. It was definitely because of the 20% off, but... Yeah, I think the sale is a great opportunity to kind of look at things that usually when you wouldn't really look at because these are $31, which I think is a little, a little expensive, but I mean, they're really great lip products. They last a long time on your lips, and as I said, I can't say that enough. They feel like nothing on your lips, so that's why I really like them. So, and also they're matte. I love matte lip products, but not a big fan of liquid lipsticks. I tried a couple and just can't seem to like them so but these are just great matte lip products then the last thing that I got is a lip gloss now usually I don't spend too much money on lip glosses but this one actually I want I wanted to get baby doll which I saw that one at IMATS and I didn't get it and then when I got home I was thinking about it again and I was like oh I'll get it next time there's I'll get it at the VIB sale and then I I got to Sephora and then I swatched Baby Doll and then I swatched this one, which is Chelsea Girls. And at first, I heard a lot of people talk about Chelsea Girl. So I, Chelsea Girls? Chelsea Girls. And so that made me want to get Chelsea Girls, but on my hand, I like Baby Doll a lot more. So I didn't really know, I didn't want to get both, but 
I wanted to get one or the other. So I ended up buying Chelsea Girls because the I heard more people talk about this one, which usually I don't really do that. I'll just buy what I want. But I'm really happy I did this because I really, really like it. Um, I'll swatch it. It looks like nothing when you look at it. So that's why I wasn't too sure about it. So it looks like that. So as you can see, I mean, it looks like a pretty boring lip gloss. But when you put it on your lips, it just makes your lips look just almost fuller. I know this is not a plumping lip gloss at all, but it makes my lips look fuller in a way and it just gives a very sheer wash of color. It's not like a, a baby pink, so it actually looks quite natural on the, on the lips. It doesn't look too... I don't know. It just looks really good. I'll definitely wear it in a video, but this is something to just wear on a casual day or even if you're all made up. I don't know. This over a very nude lipstick I think it will look really nice but I'm just really happy I got it because it's a really nice lip gloss it's very glossy which I love and the other one baby doll was kind of a muted rose color with lots of shimmers and usually I don't really like shimmery lip products but for some reason I like that one um, but I'm really happy I got this one because it just makes my lip my lips look really nice. So this is everything that I picked up for the VIB Rouge sale. I think I, I did pretty good. I picked up some fun products, but I didn't go overboard. Almost got a couple of other things. I wanted to get the Laura Mercier highlighter, not the matte radiance one, but the other one that is a Sephora exclusive. Almost got that one, but I have enough highlighters. And then I almost got this uh, Hourglass bronzer. But I think I'm good with bronzers for now. So let me know if you picked up anything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know, I think you like my hauls, so I hope this one was good. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll actually be filming another video right now. Hopefully I'll film two more, not quite sure, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All my social media links will be listed down below. I really hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next one.